walk up to the front. there. If y'all have any questions, feel free to ask them. We'll answer the best way I possibly can. We are going to swing over a few all these towers, so everyone be ready for them when we come up to them. Where's the booth? Where's the what? Where's the booth? The booth? The overdrive. The aerial 
tramway was built in 120 passengers and an operator. To your left is the entrance to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, the most visited national park in America, with over 10 million visitors each year. The park straddles the Tennessee, North Carolina border for approximately 70 miles and covers half a million acres. For more information on the park, visit the Shiplands Visitor Center, located two miles south of Gallimer, a part of the slowing down to allow the other tram to cross the highest tower. The cabins are connected to each other by the center cable called the hull cable. So when they slow down, we slow down, and we both arrive at the terminals at the same time. The three cables have a total carrying capacity of over 1 million pounds. This system is computer operated, but can be operated from inside the cabin. Aerial trams are the world's safest means of travel and are the most popular means of transportation in the mountains of Europe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to swing, so we won't be ready for it. Ready or not, here we go. We are passing over the Gatlinburg Bypass, which can be accessed at either end of town. The bypass offers two scenic overlooks of the city of Gatlinburg. If you would like to drive to over Gatlinburg, turn right on Ski Mountain Road and travel by number 10 and follow the double yellow line all the way to the top. Be warned, this is a steep, narrow, and windy mountain road, so please use caution. Our newest addition is the Ski Mountain Coaster, which departs next to the Snow Tree Park. The coaster begins with a 1,000 foot up in the woods to the border of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Once at the top, the coaster is approved 2,750 feet of adrenaline pumping, turns, dips, zigs, zags, corkscrews, and G force action adventure. Riders are in control of the speed of their car and can enjoy a relaxed pace or Make it a high-speed adventure while hugging every turn and reaching speeds up to 25 miles per hour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys see the other tram, once we are side by side, we'll be halfway up. Feel free to wave at them. The only thing I ask you guys to keep all your fingers to yourself and cover all full moons, please. <laughs> I've already seen them all. I've seen three today. Really? Yep. Keep your eyes open. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering in Chalet Village. There are over 1,500 cabins, chalets, condos, and townhouses that are up here. 85% of those are all nightly and weekly rentals. The other 15% are all privately owned. Now, the reason why we let you all know this is because we are a family establishment. So what you guys see inside the chalets on the decks or in the hot tubs, Real discretion is advised. Hmm. Laugh all you want, but you have not seen what I've seen. <laughs> have you seen any murders? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> seen about three today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys look over here, you'll see a gray cabin over on the left-hand side. That is the cliffhanger. That is only six inches actually touching the ground. The rest of it's little on stilts and beams. Oh, 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next cabin's a little harder to see, so if you all look straight over on the left-hand side, you will see a red cabin with a green roof. Do you all see it? Yeah. Right above it, inside the trees, you'll start seeing a white A-frame cabin. That is called the Delta House. If you look at the roof line of it, those are made from Delta Airline wings. Now, if you all look straight up at about 1 o'clock, you'll see a huge beige house with a green roof. That is the Doll House. That is an exact replica of the 1970s Barbie Dream House. Believe it or not, about two years ago it was pink, but they also got rid of the hinges on the side, so you ladies cannot open it up to rearrange furniture anymore. That little three-story chalet right down there at the bottom of it, that's Ken's after their divorce. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up tower number five. This is my tallest tower at 2,800 feet above sea level, 1,500 feet above Gatlinburg. I do advise everyone to hold dogs. We're going to swing a whole lot going over this tower, so everyone be ready for it. Ready or not, here we go. Here's my sky blue. Oh, 